So this is the new P51 design. It sort of resembles a later design of the P51 Mustang, whereas the first design sort of resembled some of the older designs, and I thought that that was rather fitting. This design aims to improve upon the previous design, and I'd say that it actually does a pretty decent job at this. So we're going to give a little showcase of the vehicle here today, as well as a tutorial of how to fly it yourself. Here I was wondering why it was so dark looking. Well, we're going to let this pass. Oh man, it gets so dark. That's gnarly. That is very cool. We're going to let it get brighter out here though, before we actually take off. All right, here we're going to undo the brakes and taxi out to our takeoff position. What I'm showcasing here is how the throttle actually works. So in the action groups, the main throttle, uh, so you'll see on the nav ball here, the main throttle is mapped entirely to this uh, CAL controller. And what this CAL controller is doing is controlling a variety of different things all in unison. And I don't necessarily know how realistic it is, but I do know that it does in fact function. So the first of these, is the propeller pitch. So this will change the angle of the propeller. Essentially, right here at absolutely nothing, the propeller isn't really angled at all, so it's not gonna start moving us forward. Now, if I move to this first point here, this is a sort of idling uh, throttle. So if you just throttle barely up, uh, I consider that idling where the angle is pretty much non-existent still. However, we do have the RPMs and we do have uh, the torque limit going up a little bit. Now the RPMs and the torque from this point on sort of increase in unison. So as the RPMs go up, the torque also increases because we're gonna need more and more power to actually get it spinning faster and faster. And also down here, you'll notice that we have air brakes and that is a little uh, part of the vehicle down here. I'm gonna throttle up once to show you uh, so this isn't exactly what the actual P51 looks like. However, when we throttle up here, uh, it opens a, a door, a, a rear intake uh, that allows airflow to change. And when we actually get to, like it, it opens, it opens as you throttle up, but when you get to full throttle, it closes once again. And that is basically to represent requiring that to be closed in order to get the most performance out of the aircraft even though it's less fuel efficient. We'll throttle up to about, I don't know, 70, 80%. You can see the torque really throws us to the side. However, we are stuck. We are stuck to the runway. You'll notice it was trying to roll to the right because of the massive engine torque, which is something these propeller aircraft actually dealt with in real life. But all I have to do is tap A and D to actually keep us on the runway. Now, action group zero is what does the flap, so I'll do that. And you'll notice that we actually take off. Now at this point, we are rolling slightly, but this is without any trim whatsoever. I haven't trimmed pitch, I haven't trimmed roll. So what I'm gonna do is gonna hold Alt, and I'm gonna tap Q a few times, maybe four, three or four times, and let go of Alt. And that has trimmed our roll to the left. But we can do a kill rotation, and you'll notice <laughs> it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't really know how to deal with the torque. I don't know if the regular stock SAS will also have that effect or not, uh, but <laughs> the SAS modes don't seem to work all too well. I have things tweaked to work in a semi-realistic fashion. Realistically, the P51 could, it had a turn time of maybe around 20 seconds, and I have actually set the authority limiter of the uh, Elevons here to 8 degrees instead of 20 to sort of emulate this. So uh, otherwise, like I could increase these and we'd be able to turn much faster. Top speed and level flight isn't terrible, uh, but it also isn't that much. And that probably has a lot to do with, again, the vehicle being quite draggy, as you can see from the aero forces and the weird things going on there. But also because it weighs, I think, 11 tons. The first design actually only weighed around eight or nine tons, and this one ended up weighing much, much heavier. However, it's much more stable than the previous one. This vehicle does not suffer from engine shaking at all. The first design, it, the thing would shake apart, but this one, we actually have the engine 
much closer. It's it's it, we cut the distance in half between the actual engine and the propellers here. And you can see here we're able to hit maximum RPMs without the vehicle shaking apart. And that was a massive flaw of the first design. The body is a far cleaner design, in my opinion. So we're using a lot of the fat 455s for the body here. We actually use them on the tip of the air wing to give it a gray sort of coloration rather than the black coloration. The nose, which is a pretty tricky part, honestly, is adjustable ramp intakes along with the grip strips to get sort of the black area. I went with a smaller nose cone here rather than the sort of conglomerated like group of nose cones and the first design, even though it is smaller than the real design would be, it has a nice effect, I think. I will have this craft file as a download in the Discord, but probably easier and more integrated, I will be uploading it to the Steam Workshop as well. Honest to Kraken, this thing is very, very easy to fly. Now, to finish off the video, what I'd like to do is attempt to land on the vehicle assembly building like I mentioned before. This is gonna be a bit, <laughs> bit difficult, I think. Um, right, all right. Oh, oh, losing, losing speed, losing speed, and we're gonna cut the throttle. Oh gosh. Yes. <laughs> See what I mean about you not needing hardly any space at all. The thing is very draggy. Uh, this is a P51 that is uh, carrier rated, of course. That's gonna be all for me. If you want to fly this vehicle yourself, like I mentioned. I'll have it downloaded in the Discord, and it'll be on the Steam Workshop as well. So, thank you all so much for watching, and peace out. Once again, a special thank you to Caden Seward and everyone else on the Patreon for their support. There's one more thing that I neglected to show you guys, and that was the fact that this thing can survive any crash that you give it. So, there's, here's an example of a, of a really bad, really bad crash. And because of how many parts are on this vehicle, our pilot is still A-OK. -okay. Couldn't be a video without blowing it up. I mean, come on. <laughs>